up everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Kayla Marie today I'm going to be living out a long dream of mine in Jimin as you can see I have more bags than I usually do and that's because tonight I'm not going to be staying at home After traveling across the island, I arrived in Beishan. Scootering through the village, I made my way to the Kemoi B&B, where I had the most unexpected and amazing greeting waiting for me. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't even gotten in yet, they're saying hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gosh, this is so cute. Okay, ciao. Honda, ma. Motion. So right now we are in Guning Tall, so I'm going to be staying at this really, really beautiful B&B tonight and the Amber and Toby are really awesome. Yeah, welcome. We're already at the roof. We've seen everything. So stick around, you guys. <laughs> and while I was prepared to go to my room, it seemed little Toby had other plans in mind. He's filled it all the way. He's trying to trap me. I can never escape children. Thank you. Wow, oh, okay. into the room after I have been demolished by Neo this way. Huh? She way. She yep, a seven year old beat me at pool, so now I'm gonna go cry in my room. Village, and I'm so excited to be here because we are staying in a Western style BB. If you know me, you know that I love the Western style buildings here on Jinmen. And this is really special to me because very few Western style buildings on Jinmen are even livable. Let's head out and see the village. Oh my gosh, look at this. Hi! Hey, 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 hey. 
little dirty, but that's okay. Hey, you're cute. You're too cool, Would you come with me? Bye bye, doggy. Oh my god, they're so cute. A walk through Beishan village is well worth it to see the creativity and the beautiful village. The primary reason many people come here is to see the famous Beishan old western style house. This western style house was built in 1928 by three brothers who ran a successful coconut export business out of Manila in the Philippines. During the Battle of Guningto, it was occupied by the communist troops and became a command post. It endured many fierce shootouts and bombings during this battle. Although today this building has been converted into a hostel, the bullet holes that cover its walls are one of many examples of Cumin's history as a battlefield. After the sun started to set, I decided that it was time to head off and go get some dinner. Good morning. So I just woke up and I slept really well. This bed is so comfy. It's comfier than my bed at home. The birds are like outside chirping and the sun is shining right into the room. It's so nice. And yeah, I feel so much, so rested. I'm gonna go downstairs, get breakfast, and let's just, let's just see what there is. Let's go. Ta'an. Of all of my food experiences on Jimin, I think this has to be one of the most authentic ones. I was served Guangdong Zhou, fermented foods, we had an egg, we had some Chinese vegetables. I don't know the names of everything, but it was definitely a real experience to have and the flavors were totally new to me and just a huge shout out to the Kimoi B&B for taking such great care of me during my stay. All right, y'all, so I am gonna hang out here, finish up my breakfast, and I gotta say that my stay at this place has been just like wonderful. The family is awesome and welcoming. The B&B is really beautiful. This breakfast presentation is like out of this world. And starting my day perfectly on this amazing balcony, drinking coffee and eating amazing food. I, I couldn't ask for more. With that said, I'm gonna finish my breakfast and I will see you later. Peace.